welcome to my channel make easy this is the fourth video of qbasic file handling and today we are going to discuss about input mode in file handling in the previous three videos we discuss about output mode and append mode output mode is used to store the data into the file append mode is used to add more records or data into the file without deleting old data because output mode will delete the old data and store the new data now we are using input mode here to read or display the data from the file or to print the data from the file now let's read this program a sequential data file student.dat contains some records of the student so this student.dat file is exist in the computer which have some data or information or records of students with field as roll number in that file we have roll number name class also and mobile number so what we have to do write a program to display or print all the records of students so we have to write a program to display all those information from the file so let me check first whether that file exists or not as you can see i'm inside this qb64 folder if you have installed you can see yeah this is the file student.dat let me open this this is the file which have some records first record second record and then third record so we want to display this information in the program okay let me write the code first cls to clear the data of the output screen open file name is mentioned there in the question is student.dat for input as as one we are using input mode input mode is used to read the data from file or to display the data from the file or print the data from the file as has one has one will represent this file student.dat now i will use here while loop while not eof of one now what does it mean we want to display all this information from the file this information so while not eof of one until we reach the end of the file what is the end of the file when we read this last line after this this is the end of the file eof until we reach here the loop will execute and we'll read this information first and then next record and then next record so until we reach the end of the file this loop will execute so first time we'll take input from the file input has one we are taking input from the file so input has one from this file has one file that means student.dat we are taking input so first data in there is what roll number so for roll number what we can write here is r next we have here is name for name i will write here n dollar because it is a string then class for class i will write c because that is number and mobile number m has because mobile number can be of uh, yeah, mobile number is more than seven digits if you want to take input of the number which contain seven or more than seven digits you have to use m has so i have taken the input so let me open the file once again this is the student.dat file look first we have this roll number for that i have used here r second we have name inside the double quotation you can see this make this is the name and then third is class this is 10 and then last is the mobile number i have entered the random data here okay so i have taken the input first line after taking input and storing this information here what i want to do is i want to print this information print r because it said display all the records and dollar comma c comma m has i have taken the input from the file using this input has one and i have printed those information now i will write here when this is the end for this while loop and then after this i need to close the file because i have opened this file to take input and then i will write here end if i run this program you can see this information will be displayed there all this information let me close this and let me run the program we have to use while not eof of one in input mode only and input has one also in input mode because we want to take input from the file 
so we have to use input hash one and then after taking input and storing in the variable this variable we want to print those information so we have done that so let's see as you can see here all those information is printed first is roll number name and then this class and then this is mobile number all the data from the file is displayed here so in this way it works if you want to make changes in the file you can do that and run the program again it will display all those information again you can enter the data manually here like uh, i'll enter roll number 10 name hurry and then class 9 and then mobile number i've entered here nine digit i will save this and i'll go to here in the program and if i run this and that will be displayed here look 12 this so it will go till the end of the file and then it will display all the information so in this way it works let's say in the question it is mentioned like you have to display the records of a student only only the records of a student whose class is 10 so after taking input class is stored in this variable c so we can check whether this is class 10 or not so i can write it if c equals to 10 if class is 10 then only we want to display this information print this and then i'll write here and if if class is 10 then only display or only print this information so we can use if statement here let me run the program and let's see whether it is working or not yeah yes you can see this is class class 10 and rule number one name make and this this is the number so let me open the file and compare with that whether other records have class 10 or not look this is class 10 fine this is 11 so it is not displayed this is 12 and this is 9 so in this way you can use if condition hope you understand this video thank you for watching please click the like button and subscribe this channel and continue watching the video to understand qbasic programming and c programming as well